We are almost at the bitter end, but we hope it's well, not, better not bitter. bitter. <laughs> we hope it's wonderful, right? That you're winning, and we hope you're going to say after, I owe it all to Eric Mack. I'm Lauren Tai <laughs> alongside Eric Mack. No. This is your Move Makers video, and we're starting with guys you are looking at. Houston Street, despite missing almost all of September, he was one of the best closers before the injury. Do you trust him, Mack? Well, he's returning to the closer's role now. Franklin Morales filled in admiral, admirably, but Houston Street is their star. Another closer getting shut down for the season, Bobby Jenks. And then you got the most viewed guys here, Matt Thornton, Octavio Dotel. It'll probably be Thornton getting the closing opportunities. There might not be a whole lot, though. The White Sox are a team that's sunk right now. We got Wade Davis, who's hot. Anibal Sanchez had a great outing Tuesday night. Clayton Kershaw's returning to the rotation Sunday. He's going to get two starts before the end of the season. You'll get one good look at him before next week. Brian Dunsing, uh, hot. Randy Wells um, could be a two-star pitcher next week, although the Cubs rotation is a little bit in flux. And, then and what about that last one on that list? I was just going to say, I'm going to cut you off. Edwin Encarnacion, what a bat on him right now. Yeah, yeah, right now he's hot with the Blue Jays. You know, the Reds made a big, big mistake trading this guy before his prime. He's not 27 years old yet. And look at these numbers in September, a 281 average, five homers, and 14 RBI. He has been hot. This is what you can get out of him, and it looks like you can start him in any league in the final week of the season. Speaking of hot, Ryan Roland Smith, a two-start week for him, Emac. What does that mean? Yeah, a lot of people Smith. jumped on him because he had five consecutive quality starts. Roland Smith was hot. And then he goes out and throws five innings with three earned runs, a less than spectacular outing, but he's got another one before the final week of the season. You can get a look at him before perhaps trusting him in mixed leagues. Drew Stubbs has been hot. Hiroki Kuroda, very hot. We got that Dunsing guy again. Juan Riebe's taking over the starting shortstop job and. And he's a streaky bat that's useful in deeper leagues. That Wade Davis guy, that rookie, has been hot. He's getting three starts before the end of the season. Tejeda, that guy we talked about last week, he's been hot. You got Wade LeBlanc. Nick Blackburn, he got his two-start week moved back to next week because the Twins want to line Blackburn up against the Tigers in a crucial series. Emac, I see on that list Hiroki Kuroda, his third straight win. Is right. this going to continue for him? Yeah, he's been a, a solid major league pitcher. And when you are starting consistently and throwing up quality starts for the team like the Dodgers that scores runs and wins a lot of ball games, you're going to get this. And he has been clutch in crunch time, and I can start him in any league next week. You know, that 3-1 and one record with a 2-1-6 ERA in September. Pretty good. You know what's not good? Discomfort in your pitching arm when you're a pitcher. That's what I'm talking about with Roy Oswald, Emac. Yeah, Oswald had to get shut down. There's a lot of people on this most drop list that are shut down for the season. Gallardo because of an innings total. Gavin Floyd still might start this weekend. The White Sox are not sure. You got Justin Morneau getting shut down, Scudero getting shut down, Milton Bradley getting suspended. There's going to be some appeals process with the Players Association, but it looks like Bradley won't play even if he comes off suspension. Rich Harden was going to come back this weekend. They moved him back. Now he might not pitch before the end of the season. Jared Washburn could pitch in the postseason if he proved healthy, but he doesn't look like he'll be healthy enough for fantasy owners to trust. Next week, you got Reimold shut down. And there's one guy on this list not shut down, Seth Smith. That's right. Seth Smith and Streaky, though, go hand in hand. But when you're on the wrong side of that, Emac, the bad things yeah. happen. Yeah, he's a streaky guy that you can use in mixed leagues. And then times like this, you don't want to use him even in NL only. The Rockies aren't going to play him either. So with his 138 batting average in his past nine, you got to wean yourself off Seth Smith. He was a popular pickup in mixed leagues, but right now he's not trustworthy even in NL only. We hope that the end is not bitter and that it is wonderful. I would like to emphasize <laughs> that again. Thanks, Emac. Thank you for watching. For Eric Mack, I'm Lauren Shahadi. See you soon.